Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor, and this is your monthly market video update for the end of September and the beginning of October 2014. So the stats just came out for the Sacramento real estate market for August 2014. And just as the weather here is starting to change a little bit, the market's starting to change a bit too, which is to be expected. The weather's cooling down a little bit now, and so is the market's cooling down a bit. We've always had a bit of a cyclical market here in Sacramento. So the stats just came out. Take a look right there, see what's going on. You can see that the sales for August, they decreased the amount of closed homes decreased in August compared to July. It went down to 1,428 sold homes in the Sacramento area. And that's 8% less than what we did the previous month before in July. So because of that, because more new homes are coming on the market and we're selling a little bit less homes uh, each month, the inventory has started to go up a bit. So where you can see there we're up to 2.4 months worth of inventory. Um, I would expect that number is going to continue to increase as we go through the rest of this fall and winter. Um, probably going to be getting close to maybe around four months worth of inventory by the end of this winter as we start the spring market next year is what I'm expecting. You can also see that with all that going on, the median sales price went down a little bit. It went down from 272 in July down to 270000 in August. Okay. So, what does this all mean? Well, Sacramento has a really cyclical market. What that means is things start to pick up in the spring and the summer, and we start to have more and more sales, more houses are coming on the market. Usually the prices go up a bit because they're nice homes that were prepared for the market and everything like that. And so we have more sales and a little bit higher prices in the spring and summer months. And then as we get into the fall, the market starts to kind of fall off a bit. And when we slow down, sales are still happening, um, but there's definitely a lot less sales in the winter months, as well as the median usually kind of settles down a little bit because it's those homes that maybe weren't um, prepared, you know, for the spring selling season, things like that. And also there's not as much buyer competition usually in the winter, so prices aren't getting, you know, ramped up a little bit as well. So. With that being said, if you're a seller out there or a buyer out there, what does this mean for you? First, sellers. There's three, th three key things. Listen to me right now, follow this. If you're gonna be putting your home on the market in either the fall or the winter of this year, you need to price your home right. This is not the market to be testing the waters high and say, oh, let's start here and then you know we'll lower it if we need to. And you know they're gonna offer here and so we'll negotiate there. That is silly, do not be doing that in this market. You need to price it right from the beginning so that it's gonna get sold at the right price. If it's too high, you're gonna sit, people are not gonna be interested in it, and you're eventually gonna sell it for less than what you could have sold it if you priced it right at the beginning. So with that, you need to have amazing presentation. Your house needs to show well, it needs to be looking great, you need to take some time to paint, clean the carpets, clean the place up, um, you know, remove all the personal items and declutter and stuff like that. It needs to show really well because you've got other homes in your neighborhood that are also on the market, so you need to get those buyers' attention that's out there. And then you need to hire an agent that's going to market it well for you. They're going to take a professional photographer to get in there and do the right photos, and they're going to market the property to get the most exposure for you. Those three things, listen to what I'm saying, and you'll get your home sold even in the fall and the winter months here. Okay? If you don't do that, you're going to be sitting around and not be having much luck at all. Trust me, the inventory is going up. Buyers out there, okay, two things. Be patient. If the right home that's, is not, that what you want is not coming on the market, I mean, you got to be realistic. But if it's something you're just, you know, the right stuff's not coming on, be patient. More homes are coming on the market. The market is kind of slowing down a bit here, so it's starting to favor you as buyers as we head into the winter. So be patient, wait till you find the thing, that, the house that you want when it comes on the market. But with that being said, be ready. Know what you want, have your financing line up, be ready because the sellers out there that are following what I just said, those homes, when they hit the market, they're going quickly. So you need to be ready when the right thing comes on to be ready to go for it, okay? 
So that's what's going on in the market. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, where we this all ends up as we progress through the fall and the winter. But feel free to connect with me, my Facebook, my YouTube channel, uh, my blog that's out there, SacramentoRealEstateBlog.com, uh, BuyWithDoug.com, SellWithDoug.com. Give me a call or an email. I'd love to hear from you guys if you're if you're needing assistance with buying or selling anything in the Sacramento area. And um, have a great fall and clear skies.